the new Aura Ring 3 was announced on October 26th and started shipping on November 15th. I've been using the Aura Ring 2 for the last two and a half years. I just got the new Aura Ring 3 and in this video I would like to share my take on the new ring. Discuss how the Aura Ring 3 is different from the previous model and share my personal experience using the new ring. I hope this video will give you some idea about the product and if you have not got the new ring, it might help you to decide whether or not you want to get one. I also hope this video will be helpful for both current Aura Ring 2 users and potential new Aura Ring owners. If you are not familiar with Aura, Aura is a private Finnish company with headquarters in Oulu, Finland, a city of about 200,000 people and 600 kilometers north of Helsinki. Aura was founded in 2013 by Petri Lachtella, Kari Kivella and Marco Kaskella. Harpreet Rai has been the CEO since 2018. According to Crunchbase, Aura employs between 251 and 500 people and has raised $148 million in funding. By the way, just recently, in May 2021, Aura raised $100 million. The company valuation is estimated to be $800 million. I think it's really impressive to see that the company, which is a global leader in sleep tracking, was founded in such a small town in a country of 5.5 million people. Kudos to its founders, Patrick, Kari and Marco. And one more interesting thing about Aura is that it has an incredibly loyal customer base. It's awesome. So what improvements does the Aura Ring 3 offer over the previous model? Coming up. Hi, Andre here. Welcome to the Practical Health Channel. The Aura Ring 3 is the third generation of Aura sleep tracking devices. The first generation came out in 2016 and the second in 2018. The Aura Ring 2 was listed as one of Time's 100 best inventions of 2020 and gained a lot of media attention due to its popularity amongst NBA players. You can find my review and key takes away from using the Aura Ring 2 in one of our previous videos. The company introduces a new ring every 2-3 years and between hardware upgrades, the company releases numerous enhancements for the ring software and smartphone application. Ok, let's start with similarities between the previous model and the Aura Ring 3. Number 1 is look and feel. They are very similar, almost identical. The weight is the same, 4-6 to six grams. The product size has not changed and it looks like even the sizing kit is the same. The battery is the same. It takes between 20 and 80 minutes to fully charge the ring, providing up to 7 days of use between charges. Oric actually claims that the new ring can conserve battery during the periods of low consumption, but I have not seen any noticeable improvements from my Aura Ring 2 when it was new. The Aura Ring 3 also includes all the key insights from the previous model. It includes sleep, activity and readiness scores as well as more detailed metrics such as heart rate, HRV, body temperature changes, respiratory rate and of course sleep stages, including REM and deep sleep. As you might know, sleep, recovery and readiness are the primary focus area of the Aura Ring. Now let's look at how the new ring differs from the previous model. There are several changes, some minor ones and a couple large ones. First, let's talk about the sensors. In addition to those currently included, such as the body temperature sensor, optical infrared sensors, 3D accelerometer and gyroscope, the Aura Ring 3 now includes 7 temperature sensors, whereas the old model only included 3. It also has been updated with the added SpO2 sensor for monitoring blood oxygen levels, as well as new green and red LEDs. This is quite a deviation from the previous model, which uses only infrared light, invisible to the naked eye. So, if you wake up in the middle of the night and see your finger glowing in green light, don't be surprised, as I was a couple nights ago. It's supposed to be that way. The next difference is the inclusion of new insights. A major feature is 24-7 heart rate monitoring, which includes activity when working out. It's supposed to come out in late 2021. Like in the next two weeks, right? Okay. <clears throat> the next one is SpO2 sensor. While the sensor itself is already a part of the device, blood oxygen monitoring is coming in 2022. As I understand, a red LED has been added for these purposes. Next is automatic activity detection. Aura automatically detects your engagement in over 30 different activities and delivers insights after you finished. It's another feature that is coming in the future. The next one is the period prediction, which many women may find valuable. 
As I understand, this had been made possible by extra advanced and highly calibrated temperature sensors. Several more improved or new features are nap detection, rest mode and social sharing. So you can share your readings with other people. I think this feature is quite useful for seniors. And there are two big changes. First, there is potential improvement of accuracy of the sleep tracking algorithm. The Orion 3 is claimed to be enhanced with a new state-of-the-art sleep staging algorithm that will achieve 79% agreement with the gold standard PSG. Based on the provided data, this new algorithm is supposed to make the Orion 3 one of the most accurate consumer sleep trackers on the market. In case you're wondering, I said this is a potential improvement since the new sleep schedule algorithm will be available in the future, in 2022. Regarding the accuracy of the Ororing 2, I could not find any reliable comparisons between the Ororing 2 and the other sleep tracking devices. I like what the quantified scientists did, and the Ororing 2 doesn't score high in his analysis. To be objective, any analysis with a sample size of one person can be reliable. But at least we have this data point, rather than nothing at all. The other significant change is pricing. Though the price of the ring is the same, $299 in the United States, Aura introduced the Aura membership, $6 per month with the first 6 months free. Basically, the 3 year cost of ownership jumped by 60%, from $300 to $480. And it looks like the ring will be basically useless without a subscription. Some people express their outrage and disappointment, but personally, I don't see anything groundbreaking here. Companies do raise prices and change their business models continuously. For comparison, Whoop charges a whopping $30 monthly subscription or $18 per month if signing for at least 18 months. That subscription does include the hardware, but the three-year cost of ownership is $648, that's 35% higher than the $480 Aura plans to charge. By the way, the Aura subscription is lifelong free for the owners of the Oring 2 if they upgrade to the Oring 3. So it's a nice present for the current Oring 2 owners. Okay, let's talk about my personal experience with the Oring 3. First, the transition to the new ring was super smooth. It took me like 10 minutes to move to the new ring. Next is the changes in insights. In the home section, now there is a heart rate graph. I didn't find it super accurate and insightful. It's similar to what Apple Watch and other trackers have been offering for quite some time. Also, you can measure your heart rate at any moment by tapping on the heart icon and staying still for several seconds. Again, the Apple Watch has had this feature for, for years. There are no changes in readiness, sleep and activity sections. But now there is one more section called Explore. It offers tons of audio and video related to meditation, breathing, sleep and learning. And finally, it looks like my sleep stage results from the new ring are consistent with what I had with the O-Ring 2. I guess so far Aura has not made any significant changes in its sleeping algorithm. My take is that at this moment the O-Ring 3 is no different from the previous model. And it's definitely disappointing. Though I am an optimist and I have big expectations for 2022 when Aura will update its sleep staging algorithm to a new one. This is what I'm really looking forward to. And this is what I think the Aura Ring needs at this moment. The current beautiful design and great, intuitive and insightful smartphone application. Together with the new, state-of-the-art sleep staging algorithm will make this product phenomenal. In terms of getting the blood oxygen monitor up and running, I'm a bit skeptical here. In order to bring more value to the product, it'll need to be really accurate. And based on my experience with the SPO2 monitor in the Apple Watch, the data is not that reliable. And the same can be said for 24-7 heart rate tracking and other features. They should be really accurate and reliable to be useful. If you're an owner of the O-Ring 2, you're probably wondering whether it's a good idea to move to the new ring. I don't know. As of today, December 2021, the new ring doesn't include anything really new. But if you get the ring now, you'll get the free lifelong membership for the Oring 3, if it's still available. And the Oring 3 might become really valuable in 2022. So, if you do believe that in 2022, the Ori will upgrade its sleep staging algorithm to make the Oring 3 the most accurate sleep tracker, then it's probably a good idea to get the new ring. If you're new to Aura and think about buying your first ring, it might be a bad idea to wait till the new features are available and reviewed to ensure they are as great as advertised. 
in general. I think it would be better if Aura introduced the new ring simultaneously with the new algorithm and all new features up and running. Then people will see what they're really buying. But the Aura management probably has a different approach in mind and didn't really want to miss this holiday season. As usual, to be objective, I would like to list the key competitors. In terms of rings, there are the Circle Ring from Bodymetrics, Motif Ring and the Value O2 Ring. In fact, on its website, the Circle Ring indirectly compares their features with the O-Ring 2 features. And this comparison does look good for the O-Ring 2. Personally, I think the Circle Ring should think about a better design of their ring. Regarding wrist activity and sleep trackers, there are multiple products from Fitbit and Garmin, as well as the Whoop Strap, the Apple Watch and many, many others. When we are talking specifically about sleep tracking, technically there are non-wearable sleep trackers as well, like the Withing Sleep Analyzer. I believe that's it for today. It looks like the new O-Ring 3 is good, it's solid, but it's expected to be great by the end of 2022. And I would like to say that personally, I'm super excited that people are paying more and more attention to sleep. That's awesome. I hope one day we look at people who brag about their four hours sleep at night, similar to how we look at people who brag about smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. Or at that Winston cigarette commercial for pregnant women. Thank you for watching. I am very interested in learning about your experience with the O-Ring 3. So please share it in the comment section. If you're not using the Aura Ring, drop the name of your favorite sleep tracking device. I am curious how many viewers have Aura Rings and how many have other devices. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It will help our small channel grow. Stay strong, stay healthy, sleep well, and see you next time. Bye.